Good morning, folks. We had another special video come out last night, part two to the Jenna Beckoff effect. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And here we see the bright active region incoming on the left, still without sunspots beneath it. To the south, plasma filaments have begun dancing gorgeously over the southern incoming limb, shifting around but not releasing. And of course, we're seeing the end of the large coronal hole system turning through center longitudes towards the departing limb. We are waiting to see if those trailing portions impact Earth with their solar wind, and while we wait, the actual plasma stream at Earth is descending in intensity. It's especially visible in the purple plasma speed dropping to ambient quiet levels, allowing for a similar return at the KP index back into the green. Top Earth event yesterday was a large earthquake that struck the Philippines. At least four are confirmed dead as the 6.6 struck shallow and shook the region. Striking exactly on one of the red alert stars in the forecast model posted to Twitter and the app the night before. Also took a good little shake off the Oregon coastline, and we'll have to keep watch there for more as well. Let's take the weather across the world to Saudi Arabia. Flash floods have killed at least seven people in the latest deluge to pop up over the Middle East this season. When they've come, they've come hard. And sticking with the weather, the first science article today is an inner circle discussion of the politics and global involvement in weather modification. On one hand, it's always kind of nice for our community to see their struggles to gain consensus and move forward. On the other hand, for those who know about the projects that already move forward, there is a frustrating line or two in this piece. We will transition to space news with a ghost. The latest Hubble share of a galactic merger indeed looks like a cosmic ghoul staring us down. But also of note is that this is one of the ARP systems, the galaxies noted and listed in Halton ARP's peculiarities list. Many in the community don't know that his 300 or so rare galaxies are still part of mainstream science, including their wonky and possibly intrinsic redshift. It's just that they haven't applied that to the entirety of the cosmos. Up next. We've got a new planet, sort of. It's always been here, but now we can see it, and indeed, it is the smallest known dwarf planet in our solar system. Technically, they still must confirm its self-sphering gravity, but alas, this nearly Vesta-sized object they say is the result of a tremendous collision long ago. And that is made all the more likely because it's not out past Pluto, it's right there in the asteroid belt. This is one of the most amazing games of hide-and-seek coming to an end given how well we have studied and scoured that asteroid belt. Two Titanic stories to end here. First is something that may finally get the solar physics on track, the magnetorotational instability where the outer regions of a plasma system become turbulent was once thought to be impossible on the sun, but it has indeed been spotted at the equator, leading to the unavoidable conclusion that a huge and vastly important magnetic effect is ongoing and has been overlooked in the sun. It acts where the sunspots form, and it is not found in one single solar dynamo physics model on Earth. This could be the first step that's actually needed to address this subfield and begin to answer some of those mysteries on our star, like how big can it go? And tangentially to that question, we slip over to a recurrent nova. It is not on the list yet, but might be soon. 14 years after its initial outburst, V1047 began rebrightening. They cannot tell much about it other than it is a faint event, which has them wondering if it's actually a dwarf nova of the accretion disk around it. But that guess could also have swung the way of a nova event 10 to 100 times less powerful than the one 14 years earlier. At those numbers, we are scaled down from the original, traditional nova to a micronova burst. If they keep the dwarf nova explanation, it won't make the list, but otherwise it will, and it will be the first in-progress micronova we've seen at an already recurrent nova star system. Not really sure we could have a more related ending story for those special videos we've put out two nights in a row, or the larger cosmic disaster scenario. Watch last night's video and the full movie if you haven't seen them yet. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.